Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan looking at PANW. So the bulls held strong heading into earnings by the end of the day today, which gave some hope, but we'll cover the five minute chart here. It is now 4.46 p.m. Eastern. So earnings have come out and we're seeing it being digested. So let's look at that right now. We've got the five minute chart, pretty big fake out. We saw an original bearish reaction down to 137, then a run up to 150 and now back down losing a lot of those gains so the must hold support is 136.76 bulls are trying to establish this base here 138.25 exponential five minute resistance keeping the price down so let's say we start tomorrow in the 136 to 139 range obviously that's doing a little bit of assuming but that puts us still normal and healthy here we've got the 10-day moving average at 139.60 but even if we lose that level we've got a Key support down here at 133.63, 133.80, and 134.03. So these long lower wicks have been bouncing off the 130, 134 psychological level. And as long as bulls hold that level on a pullback, we're still maintaining higher lows on this move. We've got the middle Bollinger Band and the 100-day moving average also in the 134 range. So I would say that's the key support to be watching. And again, right now after hours, we're $5 above that level. So all things considered, bulls are still looking all right. The overall trend has been bearish with lower highs. We do have a higher low to keep an eye on, so it's a tightening range. And we've got 133.50, middle Bollinger Band weekly support. So there's all kinds of supports around this 134 area. And again, we're still $5 above it. So certainly a setback for the bulls, but look at the run we've had in the past two weeks. And we'll see if the bulls create a dip buying or if the bulls buy the dip on this earnings drop. As again, it's not entirely significant compared to the moves we've seen in the past two weeks so we'll check back in and see how things play out tomorrow there should be some nice volatility and we're using the after hours action and the pre-market action tomorrow to determine key levels of support and resistance so i appreciate you watching have a great night